magic cell. All right, so today we are going to be working on our purchases journals. And I think that a good way to start with this is we could create the whole thing or we could modify. I'm actually thinking that I'm going to cause more confusion than not if we just modify. So bear with me. We've built a couple of these now. We're getting good at building these. Let's just build it really quick. We've got 17 minutes to build this form. We can do it, right, Elizabeth? All right. Everybody in Excel? Almost. Yeah. James is almost there. That would be amazing if you could have two eyeballs looking different directions. That would be awesome. But you know, then you'd look a little crazy, like one eyeball is trying to explode out of your head. I'm not. You see the problem is every time I look at my screen here, I have to take my glasses off and then take the time. You need bifocals. It's an invention. Benjamin Franklin did that. Oh, well, then you go like this. That's what you do. LASIK. We're on 295. Yeah, you can try them on a week and they still don't work. 259, excuse me. I'm dyslexic. My dad is. Can't be a dyslexic accountant. All right, here we go. That'll be my iPhone beeping at me because I didn't go vibrate. Stuck in traffic again. Buckle up. Someone's going to have to give this person the form. All right. Yeah, Laura's like, that wasn't me, I swear. <clears throat> All right. We're going to create a purchases journal, so let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and just list this one as problem 8.1B because I didn't do that last time. I'm going to label it down here on sheet, just double tap, uh, 8.1B. In alpha two, I'm going to call this one a purchases journal. Journal. We're going to skip this one for the page number. And then we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. A through L. I'm going to go ahead and just throw me a line right now. I just did a line <clears throat> right here. That way I know where my double line is going to be, but I can come back and make that a good double line later. Did you just press Alt? No, I just, just no, you got to shift. Shift. shift in the right arrow all the way across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we need about twelve, thirteen down. So I'm going to go starting at A5. If you're following me, Alpha 5, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Then I'm going to go all the way across. So I've highlighted that whole section, and I'm going to do all borders. Gives us a little bit of. through row 17, if you're following me exactly. <coughs> this thing's like right up in my face. I'm Mr. Greer, and today on CNN, I feel like I'm a news anchor. Don't you think so? We're going to think of the haircut. It's all right? Yeah. Too short? Mm -hmm. Too the lady went way short. I was like, I asked for half. You took about three quarters. <laughs> all right. So this, uh, this next one, what would you say? All borders. That's what I did. But I think we should fight for open borders, Domingo. That's just between you and me. Okay. Stop the violence and erase the hate. Okay, let's do date in B5. I'm so pissed. Just 
Oh, you should have been like, he's yelling, Gabby. <laughs> Gabby, you're on YouTube now forever. You've disappointed me. There you go. Uh, this one, we're going to say in D5, purchased from. And then I'm going to do invoice, alt, enter. There's your alt number. <clears throat> and I'm going to do invoice, alt, enter, date, tab. Terms, tab, post, alt, enter, reference, period. Accounts, alt, enter. You got to be typing, Domingo. Payable, alt, enter, credit. Purchases, alt, enter, debit. Freight, in, alt, enter, debit. This is what it should look like when we're done putting these things in for our form. No, it's accounts, alt, enter. Yeah. Heal the world, make it a better place. <laughs> You're like singing Michael Jackson today. Vas es los. Payable credit. I moved it out so you'd see that you weren't supposed to say alt enter es. All, you know, this is I was just trying to help you. It looked like it was confusing you because it was account and then ts. That wasn't right. That was just the limitation. The purchase? No. <coughs> this purchase from is going to be dragged out. I'm just messing with Domingo with the color, everybody. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it look to everybody look back up. Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. <laughs> Every time he looks up, I see this confused look like, what did you just do? <laughs> uh, I, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm sitting here waiting for you to get this done so we can go forward. <laughs> no, that's all right. I, I'm happy. It's what I do. I teach. I have an extra line over here. Did you leave this space for date? There, that shows you everything a little bit. <coughs> we good, Domingo? I'm good, I'm good. Where are you at? I'm on purchase of debit. OK. Gabby should be paying you right now for the delay. Because <laughs> you were not alone. <laughs> Dude. Do you remember the time? What else, Come on, right there. What else is over there? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. I'm pretty sure, but if you want me to prove it to you, I'll go like this. See? Oh, no faith. No faith in what I was telling you. All right. Let's make these the right size. Oh, wait. We got to make date. Let's merge and center date right here. I'm going to highlight these two and hit merge and center. So now date is one complete title. And then I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to move to the right and I'm going to hit center twice. The center button on justification. That way I've centered everything in there. Yeah, because the first time it's going to uncenter the merge and centered, 
and the second time it'll center everything. And then we just need to throw in some double lines here. Oh, we probably need to resize this. So I'm going to grab A, the whole column of A, by clicking on the A. And then I'm going to hold the control key down, CTRL, far left, bottom. And I'm going to click on K, is that L? And I'm going to right mouse click after I've selected that one and hit column width. And I'm going to make the column width a 2. And what I just did was I changed the column width on both of them to 2. Shift grabs everything in Excel that's connected. So if I click on this, or actually I don't even have to hit shift, but control, this is a good one. So shift, I grab everything that's connected. Control, I can hold control key down now, and I'm selecting, notice how there's a big space in here? Control allows us to grab things that are all still uh, grabbed, but nothing in between them. So that's a fundamental feature there, fundamental difference between shift and control. So on date, I think we can make date a little bit smaller. So I'm going to right mouse click on B, go down to column width, and let's change this one to like 6. I'm going to right mouse click on C. I'm going to change this column width to 4. I'm going to right mouse click on D, column width of, I don't know, 22. Invoice number looks good. Invoice date looks good. Terms looks fine. Posting reference looks fine. I'm going to grab accounts payable, purchases, and freight in. I'm going to highlight those. Right mouse click them. Column width of, uh, let's see, why don't we do something like 12? Yeah, 12 looks good. <coughs> so now I've just sized it all out, and I'm going to start putting double lines in now. I'm going to highlight everything on the... I think I used a 12. I'm going to highlight everything on in the A column here. And I'm going to go up to my border, go down to more borders. So I'm going to go up to here, down to more borders. And then I'm going to select my double line. <coughs> and I'm going to put it over on the right. Click OK. And then I'm going to do the same thing on accounts payable. Actually, I'm doing it on all three of these. So I'm just going to highlight all three of these sections. And I'm going to go back up to more borders and select my double line. And it's kind of cool. I can actually just click each one of these. And it will do it to all of them in there. And so now I've got double lines here, 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 and here. It's hard to see because of the resolution. And finally, I'm going to make a double border on the top just to make it look pretty. So I'm going to highlight everything up on top, go down, hit more borders, double line on the bottom, click OK, and now I have a perfect little purchase journal. Good. I'm going to merge and center my purchases journal so it centers over the whole thing. So I've highlighted from A to L in row 2. I'm going to hit merge and center. And I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger. Make it a 14, maybe. I like 14. And then over on J3, I'm going to put page. Whoops. Page. And this is going to be page 15. So I'm just going to make it like that. Now, if we can go to the problem. <clears throat> on page 259. I did a double border here, 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 and here. And then a triple border here, and a quadruple border right there. The whiteboard? How to change the width? Yeah. You can come up here, and you just right mouse click it. Oh and go down to column width, or you can just drag it till it looks right. 
All right, Mr. Pinkston, are you caught up with us? Smart look. Well, that's another way to do it. It's good. I'll take it. <clears throat> Can you read us the first part of the problem here on seven or eight point one B? Is that right? You want to read us the problem? All right, so we have some balances. We're going to record those when we get to it. But the first thing we're going to do is create our purchases journal. <coughs> so what's the first transaction we got on the next page? Yeah, you mind reading it for us? So East Coast Snow Shop. What was the invoice number? All right. What was the invoice date? Okay. And terms? In 45. Actually, it's lowercase n. And so what we're going to walk through here is it was how much in purchases and a freight charge of? So we can actually say this equals what? How much is our accounts payable going to equal? Look at you go. So the purchases plus the freight equals that. I'm actually going to highlight all three of these. I'm going to do a comma style, and then I'm going to decrease two zeros because I know we're not going to have any sense in this problem because it's a problem. Make it a little bit easier to read. Great. Good job. Elizabeth, is that right? What's going on? Talk to me, Goose. You sure? What would you miss up? Did you say this equals, just do equals whatever's to the right plus whatever's to the right of that? Don't worry about the, you might have different cells, so you have to be thinking about this as yours relates, not exactly what mine is, unless you're exactly like me, and then you're genius. <laughs> it's hot in here today. Are you mocking me? No. Kendra's always got this little smirk on her face, like she's laughing at me for something. She might be. That's what I'm worried about. You ruined that whole mean look? <laughs> no. A what? No, I was thinking that you wrote uh, 28 dash April from 60, but no. No, I put 4 dash 20, or 4 slash 28, and it did that on its own. That's a formatting thing. I went like this. I said 4 slash 28, and it knew the 28th of April. Oh, okay. It did that automatically. All right. Mr. England, you mind reading us our next piece of this problem? Hey, we got Batman in the back. We got Joker up front. You and James should be sitting next to each other. That's awesome. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, there's no 28 dash nothing. It's 4 dash slash 28. Oh. Like a date. Okay. You could even go slash 13, and it'll come out with the same thing. Oh. Well, we are in May, but the invoice date, according to the problem, thanks to Mr. Pinkston, was April 28th. So we wrote down what we were supposed to write down. Tab, tab, 
No, Maybe. don't do it. Well, you could do accounts payable, but you just want to say equals to the right of it plus the right of it. Okay. So this one's going to equal this plus this. That's all you're going to do. Perfect, huh? All right, number two, Mr. England. On the ebook? You don't want to look at the ebook, that's an old edition. Uh, so the problem is going to have different numbers. Do you have the normal book? All right, uh, Kendra. Next one, May 8th. Well, we're on 60 now, 260. We flipped the page because we're actually doing the transaction. Oh, okay. This is how a book works. You turn the page when you get to the bottom. I'm just kidding. Well, <laughs> Bruce, Bruce says and we were there. Says yeah, it's all my fault. <laughs> James is on the right page. Net 30, and what was the freight? What? No, I'm just kidding, that's fine. Guess what, this formula still works. I'm just gonna drag this formula down, by the way. Good. I like it, perfect. Articulated well. Kendra, thank you. Domingo, can you read us number three? Yeah, oh, this is a credit memorandum. Skip. Let's go to the 12th. Yeah. Okay. Purchase tie jacket for $5,000. <laughs> oh, ski jacket. I thought you said it's a ski jacket. No, May 9th is a credit memorandum, which we're going to go back and do in their general journal. Remember, anytime we get a refund, we're going to do that in the general journal. So we're just fi uh, figuring out a purchaser oh, journal right now. Exactly. Okay. Sixty days. Dun dun dun. I heard about this before. Cruise. Yeah. 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 No, it's not. It's actually May twelfth. Why did you say May twelfth? That's the credit memorandum that we were just talking about. We skipped that one because oh. we're going to do that in the general journal. Oh. So we had to go to the twelfth oh. because credit memorandums are not recorded in the purchases journal, Kendra. Question. Do we record credit memorandums in the purchases journal? Kendra? No, she's right. Gabby, welcome. Oh, is that a charger? I'm like, what do you got in your hand there? Looks like you got a sure microphone. It's all good. How was soup plantation last night? Oh, I was just wondering if they had, you know, done that soup thing we were talking about well. <laughs> I'm sure Kendra will email you our template, right? Huh? You'll email her the template so she can be with us. Okay. <clears throat> Laura. How did I do that? Yeah. 
I wrote a formula. My formula just adds up the two to the right of it. So this one adds this plus this. And then you go uh, you put, uh, shift, oh, shift down and then. No, I didn't hit shift anything. If you just, no, if you just click the bottom right of the one that has it and drag it down, then it's just auto calculating every time I do the next oh. one. Does that get a six pack on top of it? Yeah. Wow, look at that. It's no longer good enough to have the Batman. You gotta have the abs of Batman. Okay, I like it. James, do you mind reading us the fifth or sixteenth, excuse me? And we bought them for how much? Twenty-six fifty. Twenty-six fifty. And did you notice when I went to start typing Mayday, all I had to do was hit M, and it pops up, then you can hit Enter. So if there's nothing here, if you type M, Mayday comes up, and I just hit Enter. So I don't have to even do that data entry. See, Domingo, watch. I just hit M, Mayday pops up automatically, so I can just I can just hit Enter at that point. Don't beat the computer up, Dad. It's okay. We're talking about stopping the violence, erasing the hate. <laughs> erasing the hate? Yeah, erasing the hate. What? Didn't you ever see, wasn't it Captain EO when Michael Jackson said that? Stop the violence, erase the hate. You didn't like Captain EO? Yeah. Out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure Kendra can't see past my head. Next, uh, Lisa, do you mind reading to us the 22nd? And we wonder why your computer's messed up. <laughs> Warning, virus protection enabled. <laughs> Self-destruction mode will occur in T minus two seconds. <laughs> I had a great night last night. You know what I did? I went home. And I went to bed at 8.30. <laughs> it was fabulous. I don't think I've gone to bed at 8.30 in four years. I just got some sleep. I woke up early. Felt refreshed. No, I never sleep that much. I only sleep like six hours a night. So my body was catching up. I'm having seven up today instead of Diet Coke. I'm so happy. If you blow on your keyboard, it'll make the mouse work. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> yeah. It's like a Nintendo cartridge. <laughs> <laughs> you can't log in. Hit enter. The keyboard's not working? My, my those two that I gave you are active. Those two? Yeah. You pop keys off? To fix it. Oh. You're amazing like that, Kat. What's going on? Why? Why? <laughs> um, have you turned it off and pulled the battery pack and plugged it back in? It's a good way to do it. Power cycle that sucker. Uh, do you need me to get your keyboard? I can do that at the break. I can bring you in a keyboard that you can plug in so you could use a separate keyboard. Okay, let's keep going. The twenty or the thirty first. Elizabeth. Got it. Alright. Taking photos for three thousand six hundred and thirty. Three thousand six hundred and thirty dollars. Okay. Ooh, there's freight in this one. Golden skis. Isn't it double eyes? Oh nope. And clothing.
Five twenty seven. Net thirty. Excellent. We've gotten this one. Now, what are we going to do now that we've got all this input? Well, we're going to total it first. Let's total up all these. So I'm going to come over here the one right below, and I'm going to say auto sum, and it's going to add everything up above it, and then I'm going to drag that from the bottom right over to these two because it's going to do the same thing. Here, this help Kendra if I go up here? Is that better? Sorry. You know, you can always sit like right here. But I agree, the computer always looks better when you look around my face. Gabby, you have some loud speakers on that thing. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, I've never heard a laptop like that makes that noise. We could have a dance party in here with that. It's all right. Good. Now, I'm going to hit Control S. And I'm going to go ahead and save this as assignment two. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Why not? You should do assignment two dash Domingo or Laura or Markel or James or Elizabeth. It would be fantastic if I could see your name on there. So as I'm trying to grade them, I know who's I'm grading. And we are going to pause right here and take our 10 minute break. Back up. We're going to go ahead and open up last week's assignment because we made a journal. Uh, let's see here, assignment one. There's my ledger. And I had a bigger ledger, I think, over here, didn't I? Ledger, did we make a journal anywhere? No, not a sales journal, general journal. Didn't we make a general journal somewhere? There it is. Right here. 7-2 Bravo. Go ahead and grab this sucker. I'm just going to come over here and copy it. And I'm going to paste it right here, see what happens. this is that what you're saying yeah. I like this one because I'm just gonna go in there and I'm going to highlight all this stuff hit delete that's what I'm gonna do but you can do it your way I'm not saying there's a right or wrong way that's the mr. Greer way though let me go ahead and merge and center this sucker here okay so the general journal what do we need to do on this one We had a couple returns, didn't we? So let's go ahead and start off. This is May 9th. Who didn't read yet? Markel, you didn't read anything, did you? May 9th. May 9th. Read that one to us. Okay, before we do anything, I just want to break down how I would figure this out if I were a student. Learning accounting. What is our amount that's going to get refunded? What's our number? Yeah, in this one. 1,250. We know that we're going to have 1,250 as our debit and our credit. We know the debit's going to be first. We know the credit's going to be second. We know that it has to equal itself. So we can put the two numbers in right off the bat and have full confidence that we're doing something proper. Next, 
as I think about this, and I'm just going to conceptually think about this for a second, as I look at accounts payable, Which side, debit or credit, increases accounts payable? Credit, exactly. So this is the plus. This increases accounts payable. This decreases accounts payable. Now we bought stuff. We owe people money. They're giving us a refund. Are we owing people more money or are we taking away from us owing people money with a refund? We're taking away. So we know that this is going to be a debit for which account? Accounts payable. So do you see how I just walked myself logically down that path? I'm going to take away from accounts payable, therefore it's going to be a debit. So which one of these is going to be accounts payable? Silas is deafening. <laughs> which one of these two numbers here is accounts payable? The debit, because we're not going to owe people money anymore. So we know right off the bat that this one's going to be accounts payable. And that's a simple, logical jump to make because we are re they're refunding us money. We don't owe them things anymore. So it's a good way to kind of break it down to think, how is this transaction going to work? Now, who are we not owing money to? The East Coast Snow Shop. So what's our credit going to be? Are we going to take that off of purchases? We're going to do It's the contra account purchases, returns and allowances. So we're going to say purchases, returns and allowances. This is one of those that after I hit enter I'm going to go back into it and indent it twice so I can see that this is a credit. Now we're missing one last piece to this whole equation. Which is what? No, well, we want to describe it. So we want to say what happened. What credit memo do we get? Received credit memo. Memorandum for RDA for $380. Oh, no, no, no. For the May 9th one. Oh. 155, correct? For damaged, damaged, damaged ski boots. Then we'll do the original sale. Sale was invoice sixty five seventy two on April twenty eighth. 2013. Well, the reason we want to write that whole thing out is, yeah, so, so we can just have a credit. Uh, if we get hit by a truck, someone else can get to the general journal and read this and say, oh, that's why we got that. So there's no question on whether or not Domingo was refunding the money and stealing it. We're putting a credit memorandum. We now have an audit trail. We can go look at the credit memo. We can look at the invoice. We can see this whole thing track. Keeps us safe. So the next one was on the 28th. What's the what's the amount or what's the twenty eighth? Read that one to us, Domingo. Now, once we've done one, what's going to be simple about the second one, Kendra? What's simple about the second one once we've done one? Change the information. So we know accounts payable will be first, but it's going to be for the Mayday Ski Shop, isn't that right? Purchase returns allowances. This is for credit memo. 38, isn't that what she said? For yeah, defective uh, ski poles or something? Yeah, defective ski poles. Yeah, we're going to put 
course of the Rival uh, of Arena, Horses, Invoice 5011. Invoice number is 5011. On May 15th. On May 15th. Look at that. Bingo. Returned. Finally, we're supposed to do our general ledger for this problem also. So I'm going to go back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Can I get a drink open? So, <laughs> what did you say? This is called the answer key. No, you can't have it. So this is a solutions manual. So no, you can't have that. But uh, yeah, <laughs> then you wouldn't learn anything. No. Uh, so then I'm going to jump into my general ledger that I created last time. And I've got, I guess, three of them here. I'm just going to grab this whole thing, copy it. I'm going to jump back into. I'm going to make a new sheet on this one because the ledger to me needs to be on a new page. I'm going to hit paste. Now I got my general ledger in here. This time we are not dealing with accounts receivables. We are dealing with accounts payable. What are our accounts that, we've gonna, that we're going to have to take care of? Accounts payable. What are the accounts that we've dealt with so far in this problem? Start purchases. Freight in. No cash. No, we also had our contra account. Purchases, returns, and allowances. So these all have different account numbers. The account numbers are given to us in the problem. I'm going to go ahead and just erase some of this stuff here. Were we given a balance for accounts payable? What was the balance to start? 21,608. Oh, but it's a credit. <laughs> 21,608. You do? Where? I'm deleting everything in my accounts here so I can. 21,608, yes. That's, That's what we said. Yeah. No, I, I was looking for the wrong part. That's all right. I just wanted to make sure we were not wrong. OK. Now I've got my general ledger accounts payable. This account is going to be 2111, isn't it? Or 205. Purchases is going to be 501. Freight in would be 502. Freight in is 502. And purchases came from one. 503. And 503. I'm just changing my account numbers. They're all on page 259. So we're going to start off with May 1st, a balance of $21,608. Now, in accounts payable, are we going to have any returns that came through accounts payable? Yes, because we just did two journal entries for those. So when was the first one? The first one was the 9th. May 9th. May 9th. And so that was coming from journal page, was it 38? We're supposed to switch this to page 38, I think. Page 38. Page 38. So journal page 38. So J38. Was it a debit or a credit? Debit. It was a debit. We know that because I'm going to say this equals, I'm going to jump back over here, and here it is, accounts payable. I'm just going to click on this one. I highlighted the amount. Hit enter, and it transfers it straight over. Now, we know that accounts payable has a normal what balance, debit or credit? So you can actually uh, transfer from one page to another page. Oh, definitely. Right. That's so that definitely what you want to be doing. Sense. So what's my formula here, Gabby? Yeah. Don't look like a deer in the headlights. What's my formula to calculate what my balance is going to be right here? 
I'll zoom in so you can see it. How do I figure out this number? I, I, I know, but I'm asking you logically. How would you do this on my screen right now? In Excel. Start with equals. Good. So what numbers are we going to be calculating? F8. Yeah. How would you do it, Laura? Uh, I, I'm, at, I'm open to suggestions. I7. I7. Minus F8. Plus G8, just so we're going to write it right, because we'll do it. Enter. There we go. And then we can just drag this one down as needed. We don't really need it right now, but I'm sure we're going to do a couple more. So what's the next one? We had the ninth. What was our other, our other one? The 28th. That was on the same page, journal 38. This equals how much? We click and go back. It's $380, so I'm just going to click on $380. It calculates out. Are we all done? No. What, what are we missing? We need a bonus. The, the 31st. So at the end of the month, we're going to bring the whole purchases journal over. This is going to come from purchases journal, page 15. Is it a debit or a credit, Domingo? The purchases journal. Accounts payable credit. It's going to be 32880 So I'm going to go ahead and say it's a credit. So it's equals 32880 Enter. We have our balance auto calculates over there. I'm going to go ahead and just make this. 52858 okay. What are you confused about? Okay. Sounds good. Now, once we've transferred from the purchases journal over to the ledger, what are we supposed to do, Lisa? How do we know that we've done that now? The account number below. That's how we know we posted it. So this is the account 20 or 205. So I'm going to come back over here. Underneath it, I'm going to put parentheses, two, space, zero, space, five, and parentheses. I know that I've posted that. I'm going to take that back what I said. How, why do you put it on the day, 31st, uh, on the results, on the balance? Uh, Does that help? Yeah. I can do that. That's why. It's the end of the month. Okay, We're I'm totaling up what's in the purchases journal. Yeah. That's it. So this is on the 31st what we had in purchases for the month. Okay. So everything that we had done. Yeah, I've got a sheet and everything else I need to do something. Yeah, that's why we're doing it. Next, purchases. Do we have a balance? No. So May 31st, we're going to get this from P15, that purchases journal. Okay. Is it a debit or a credit? It says debit up here. See this? An expense is always a debit. Now, this is a cost of goods sold. It's not exactly expense, but it gets treated a lot like that. So we're going to come over here to the debit side. We're going to say equals 32540 And then our balance is just going to equal that. So we don't have to do anything special to it. Now that I've done that, I'm going to come back over here and say this is account 501, so it's been posted. Next account, freight in. We didn't have a balance, but May 31st from Purchases Journal P15. Now we're going to debit this one again equals 
340. So our balance for that is 340. Go back and say that I recorded 502. Okay. And finally, our purchases, returns, and allowances. May 9th was one of them. This came from our general journal. J38 with the page number, and it's a credit, and I know that because I'm going to go back here, scroll down, see purchase returns and allowances is a credit, and the same thing for the 28th equals this one right here, purchase returns allowances is a credit, and I've got to run my my balances so this is going to equal that and this is going to equal the credit minus a debit plus a credit so we have a balance of Is that where you want to meet her? Finally, it asks us in the problem, compute the net purchases for the firm for the month of May. Bam. We're going to have to do a beginning of a net income statement. So I'm going to come down here, or uh, in, uh, yeah, an income statement. And we're going to do revenue. Is that what we're doing this time? Well, we could start with revenue, but we're going to call this purchases. Then we're going to do freight in. Then we'll compute that out to delivered cost of purchases less purchases, returns, and allowances. Net delivered cost of purchases. So what were our purchases amounts? I think it's 3240, yeah. Our balance for the month, how much was freight in? 340. Add those two together. This plus this gives us our delivered cost of purchases. Now we're going to subtract any returns and allowances, which were 1,630 as the final balance. So we're going to say this equals 32,880 minus 1630. And this isn't the furniture lot, this is Eskimo Ski Shop. Okay. Now, I'm going to hit save. What I'd like for you to do is break up into groups and have everybody try to do 8.2, which is just going to be the subsidiary ledger. Okay, It's going to be for each one of these different uh, companies. I think you guys can take it, though. So I'd like you to, to do that. You're going to bust out a subsidiary ledger. And then 8.3 is a lot like this one we just did. In fact, it's almost identical to what we just did. So I want to see if you guys can take the next 20 minutes together
without me directing you as a crutch and do 8.2b and then we'll talk about it for the last 10 minutes of class. Deal? Deal? Is that what you need right there? So <coughs> break. <laughs> 